Okay, so this is the file that I purchased that has a whole lot of tabs. See, there's two of these slots and two holes here. All of these guys, there's two on each of these, two, two. So there's, trust me, there's 42. Um, <clears throat> the slot resizer tool is under, and I apologize for the dogs in the background, under tool, that it's grayed out right now. It says resize slots in selection. But when you highlight something that has slots, then that tool becomes available to you. So when you click on it, you'll see that the items, um, the thicknesses are in millimeters and there's slot depth, slot width, tab height. And I just kind of played around. Uh, so I said, okay, well, what is my current slot thickness? Well, when I click on that, because it's a slot, I would have to break it down, figure it out. Um, but there's this handy dandy roller tool. And if you set your rollers to millimeters, see how that toggles there. And I highlight this little segment here. This is really the thickness of my slot. Okay, that one's 237, 237. For some reason, I had it as 244, but let's go with 237 on these. So, okay, I'm gonna zoom back out. I'm gonna highlight this section. Sorry, I keep going to arrange, resize slots. And it's, if you've ever used Excel or Microsoft Office products, the find and replace, this is my brain kind of associates it with that. So I'm gonna find all the slots that are two, three, seven, and I'm gonna change them to six. So this is if I'm changing my material from an eighth inch material to a quarter inch material, um, the slot probably when I purchased the file was three, but I've been playing around with it and I'm going with the slot width. So when I do that, oh, your selection contains the following unsupported items, group shape. So let me, I apologize. Let me ungroup and try that again. It's always when you're recording, right? So now I've got my two, three, seven, my six, I change it to slot width and look at that. All of these little guys it's telling me has a slot width of two, three, seven. And I'm saying, Hey, I'd really like that to be 6.0. So again, in millimeters. And when I click, okay, I don't know what this is. This is something it didn't do to me before, but we're just going to delete that. And we're going to say, trust me, it works. <laughs> so not sure what happened. Um, but I, like I said, I've been playing with this file, trying to learn the tool, but if you see here, my slots are 6.0. So that's the first time I saw it do anything wonky like that. And I apologize. Um, this isn't meant to be a serious tutorial. It was just a quick showing you how I do it. Um, so again, I ungrouped. It did not give me a warning that none of, that these weren't paths, but I did see that warning before. So let's go over, let's try one of these guys. Let's do that again for you. So um, this one's a little less complicated. Let's make sure we're ungrouped. Okay, we're not grouped there. Um, doesn't look like I'm gonna have any issues. So if I go to my resize slots and I go to slot width, it's finding these are two, three, seven. I wanna make those 6.0. I've got no warnings down here. I hit okay, boom, these are all 6.0, just like that. So it's only going to resize in the area that you highlight. It's only going to look for slots in the, of the size that you specify. Like I can tell you right now, we cut this out of two different pieces of acrylic that had two different thicknesses. So these two slots here are a different thickness than these two slots. So when I highlight this and I go to the resize slots, Okay, this one's telling me shapes are not paths or rectangles. So here's a good example. So if I go to, um, <clears throat> where is it? Edit, convert to path. I'm always hunting and pecking, right? So now I go to resize slots in selection. You can see that that warning is gone. Change that to slot width. See how these two guys and these four were not highlighted because they're not 237. So they're not going to convert and that's okay. I knew these were different because again, I use different material. Um, but if you run into that issue, that's why it's because 
your base, your starting point is different and you'll have to go in and find what your starting point is for that. All right. I think that's all I got for you.